We finally got an update for Gunner Heat PC for the month of October or for early November whenever you're watching this. And I gotta say, this tank game keeps improving with each of their monthly updates. If you don't know, Gunner Heat PC is a tank combat game with simulation elements. It's made for tank enthusiasts and also by them as well. My name is Fan Fantasy and I cover tactical and immersive games like Gunner Heat PC. I know a lot of you who watch my videos haven't subscribed, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date and also hit that like if you enjoyed this video. This update is a spooky one since spooky season is upon us, but there are some significant features and changes that will help the future development of Gunner Heat PC. So starting with this one, there's a new mission called Longer Roads for the Eastern Hills map, which is a mission where you play as a section of Abrams at night with some spooky vibes. I'm not gonna lie, things kept happening to my tank. I didn't like it at all. And there's an interesting surprise, but I won't spoil it for you guys, so make sure to check that out. If you know that surprise, please don't spoil it on the comments until later. But yeah, go play it and see it for yourself. And I believe this mission also introduces a few new mechanics of the game and also this update. Another big change to this month's update is the game's engine, which runs on the Unity engine. And this is a pretty significant update, which will allow for more content and stability to the game which is a big step to this game's development, and that was probably one of the biggest hindrance and obstacles for releasing bigger content. But congrats to the dev team for this breakthrough, and Gunner Heat PC has definitely come a long way. You'll notice too that they have overhauled the vehicle AI, which will help support upcoming features, which I guess it hints that there's some changes to be done with the AI. Speaking of the vehicle, your gunner will now announce the shot on the way when the shot is actually fired. And I know for some, this might have been an immersion breaker. I mentioned this in my previous Gunner Heat PC video, but the UI for the missions and fire support has been reworked. You'll notice that it'll give you a lot more useful information, such as the time and how much ammunition you have for the artillery, and also the cooldown. You can also view the mission and objectives from the map as well, and I believe this will make things a lot more easier for players to use and to learn. And I think the UI is pretty clean. Gunner Heat PC also got an update with some of the visual effects and vegetations. Some of the missions have slightly been rearranged to work with the new vegetation system. They also removed the vegetation LOD slider since it no longer works with the new system. You'll find this good because it's one of the causes for memory leaks and crashes. In terms of the game itself, they have reworked the tow launcher. I believe the previous tow launchers didn't have a thermal sight on them even though you could use the thermals, but they have updated the tow launcher model. You'll now notice that the damage to the engine and transmission will affect the performance of your tank or your AFV depending on how bad it is. It could cause things to be slower or to be completely out. And this is a new one, but mission designers can now implement a chance for your vehicle components to break. I'm gonna assume that this might mean your laser rangefinder or the day and night sights. Mostly speculating this by the mission briefing that we got in the newer mission, which there's a chance that something could go wrong. But this could also mean that vehicles in the game already have broken components, like the fire control systems of your wingman's tank. I think this definitely adds an interesting challenge to your tank, and there's always that random probability that something will break in your tank. So I'm not sure if this will apply to older missions, but we can expect moving forward that mission designers can add the chance of breaking components. You'll now notice that damage day sights or night sights will display on the hood. The damage isn't new because I remember getting damage to the optics before, but I believe this will automatically switch you to the auxiliary sights if the day sights are damaged. And also trees will now affect the projectiles of the round and its impact. There's quite a lot of fixes to this update, and one of them is the Platoon AI members. When you reverse, sometimes they go wild or they like to expose their back. Now, they'll reverse instead of turning back and exposing the rear to the enemy. They also fixed the tank commander calling the wrong ammunition type, or not calling detailed shot senses like if it's over, short, or doubtful. And they also fixed the cast and artillery missions. Some missions were quite generous, but I'm assuming this means that you now have a limit. There are many more fixes to Gunner Heat PC, which you can check out. And for those who have been playing Gunner Heat PC for a while now, the Folder Gap Legacy map pack has been retired due to the incompatibility with these new updates. I think this is perhaps sad for some of us who have been playing for this game for a while now, but this is a sign that this game is progressing further in its development. Speaking of which, I do want to highlight some of my thoughts in these updates, and it seems like pretty much most of these updates will help build a foundation for future content releases. 
like mission loading system for multiplayer in the future, or AI processing systems and the crew voice controllers. So even though we may not have gotten some newer content in this update, this is a great foundation for future updates to come, and it's a significant update to the game's core engine. And we just passed the one year mark of the early access, and I think so far it's been pretty good in my opinion. And Gunner Heat PC is one of those titles that I know will always release something or an update every month, even as an early access title. So what I'm saying is be a little bit more patient and more things will come when it's ready. Anyways, this is pretty much what I want to highlight in this update, and I also want to hear your thoughts. Are you excited for this update? Have you tried out the spooky mission? Please don't spoil it, but, but let me know your thoughts on it. So stay tuned for more Gunner Heat PC videos and many more. You can always join my Discord for more discussion or if you need help. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave that like and subscribe to stay up to date, and I'll see you guys in my next video.